this video is dealing with the concatenation of, of arrays. Um, just going to start off. The key with concatenated arrays is counting rows and columns depending on how you're going to stick them together. And so uh, I'm going to run this code, this script here. We have array A, you see, has uh, two rows, three columns. Array B has three rows, three columns. So let's come here and just uh, let's go ahead and, and, and write that out here because I want to show you that if I wanted to concatenate, there are two places I can add to this array. I can either add down here vertically or I could add over here horizontally. Well, if you look at vector B, vector B is 1, 4, 7, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9. Well, it matches up here. If you're going to add, if you're going to stack them on top of each other, they have to have the same number of columns, right? If you're going to stick them side by side, they have to have the same number of rows. So uh, if you do vertical concatenation, so let me go concatenation. If you're going to go vertical, then you have to have same number of columns. And if you're going to go horizontal, you have to have same number of rows. So you see right now that this particular vector, which is vector B and this is vector A, vector B can't go over here because it won't fit. It's got an extra row. It's got an extra row and it won't fit on there because it has no place for this. So now we're violating that rule that, that all rows have to have the same number of columns and all columns have to have the same number of rows. So the only place for this to fit would be here. If we wanted to concatenate a vector horizontally, we'd have to have one that only had two rows in it. It can have as many columns as it wants, but it has two rows if you're going horizontal. If you're going vertically, you can have as many rows as you want, but the columns have to match. Okay, so let's look at that over here. Um, these two, if I want to concatenate A and B, I can put B on the bottom. We can do a vertical concatenation. And so I'll come here and I'll show this with vector D. I'm going to put A, and we're just going to stick them on top of each other. So A is going to be there. This line break tells MATLAB to put A on top of B, just like it puts rows on top of each other, as long as the number of columns match. So when I do this, you see. What we've done is D is concatenation. I've put B on the bottom of A or A on top of B. And the number of columns had to match. All right? So I could do it that way. Uh, that's sort of a visual way to do it. Or I could use my semicolon notation and do it this way. Uh, the semicolon, keep in mind, starts a new row. So effectively, it's saying put A on a new row, put, excuse me, put B on a new row after A. So you're doing the same thing we did with vector D. So when I when I run this, you get the same thing. It's just E now equals the same thing D did. So that's vertical concatenation. Uh, if I want to do it horizontally, I'm going to introduce B won't work. So if I if I came in here and tried to do a horizontal concatenation with uh, with B, let me change this C to B quickly, um, it's going to give me an error because it says the dimensions don't work. So uh, arrow using horizontal concatenation. So, but if I come in here and define vector C, vector C is going to be, let's look at that first. Vector C has two rows in it, two rows, two columns. So it can stick onto the side over here of A, so we can do a horizontal concatenation, which is what we're going to do here with F. So when I run this, oh, it changes B to C. So when I run this, C now has gotten concatenated to the right horizontally to the right of F. So that's concatenation. You have to think about it vertically and horizontally. Vertically, you have to have the same number of columns. Horizontally, you must have the same number of rows.